Is this an investing channel? A few people have been asking this question as they've been seeing quite a number of videos with Tesla owners, Tesla road trips to other countries, and even recently, other EVs on the channel, like the Porsche Taycan. Look at this construction site behind us. To build a strong structure, you need a mix of ingredients. Steel, concrete, bricks. A home isn't complete with just steel alone, no matter how good the steel is. Likewise, my investment conviction would not be complete by just looking at the financials alone. Like you, I read Tesla's quarterly earnings, the annual report, and watch great finance YouTube channels like Dave Lee on investing, Chicken Genius, Solving the Money Problem, and Tesla Daily. I feel that two ingredients that are missing that are important for me are the company's products and services as well as the people. 85% of my publicly held equity is on Tesla stock. I've got 630 Tesla stock at the average cost price of $613. Tesla makes most of its revenue selling cars. And that's why you see so much coverage of Tesla's vehicles, the Model S, 3, X, and Y. I even got a chance to touch the Roadster and the Cybertruck when we visited Giga Texas. I want to understand why people buy Teslas, why people transition to EVs. And for those who switch from ICE cars to EVs, why do they pick a Tesla? And why don't they pick a Tesla? How sticky is demand for Tesla? Speaking with owners, going on road trips with them, seeing the ups and downs of the Tesla experience helps me understand that. Over time, as Tesla bot matures, it goes from prototype to an actual production product. You'll see more coverage on robots on my channel. So I still have investments in Apple, but their products are pretty mature. An iPhone, an Apple Watch, we all get how they work. As they release AR, VR devices next year, you'll see a little bit of coverage from that on this channel as well. So I hope you understand a little bit more about why I spend time on products and services here. My final ingredient is people. In this construction site behind me, there's a crew of hundreds building public housing for families in Singapore. The level of dedication and skill will determine the safety and robustness of these buildings for decades to come. That's why I spend time speaking to Tesla employees, both current and former, as well as people in the industry, suppliers, competitors, to understand what makes Tesla truly different what makes the employees tick, what motivates them, and why can't competitors copy or follow what Tesla is doing so well. All of this gives me a lot more conviction in Tesla's long-term success. I hope this gives you a better picture of why this channel is the way it is. Many of us started investing because we have dreams of financial freedom. We want to build a better home for our loved ones. And I couldn't have done this without the community I've met the past year. I've learned so much from my guests, new perspectives, the questions they ask, and as well as the experiences that they've shared with me. And I thought as we transition from a bull to a bear market, that this would be a good time to invite a few of our guests who've been on this channel before to share what they've learned as investors over the past 12 months. Let's take a listen. One of the biggest things I've learned as an investor for the past 12 months is to know what you're doing. Because in times of market volatility, you will be tested and it can be really scary if you don't do your homework. By the way, Darren, congrats for your first year anniversary for your YouTube channel. Really happy for you. As an investor, I've learned that I really can't predict the market. During COVID, things were going well. When things were going better in terms of COVID, the markets crashed. You can't predict the market. Hey, congrats to Darren for hitting one year anniversary on the channel. So one thing I've learned as an investor over the past 12 months is to be able to differentiate between what you can control versus what you can't control. So in 2020, we have a great deal of investors who suddenly turned into epidemiologists. Last year, we have many mini Warren Buffetts. And just this last six months, we have many war and supply chain experts and coupled with many PhD in economics. It's good to want to expand your circle of competence but investing is a craft to be honed and the goal should always be getting better every day. Hope to see everybody on the moon. I learned that markets don't go up forever. Has it always been that way? Anyway guys, buy the dip. See you on the moon. Thank you for your support the past year. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on investing.